there are three places in the world that are doing leading edge R and D. There's Sinshu, Taiwan. There's Hillsboro, Oregon, and there is Pyong, uh, Pyong, Pyongyang, uh, South Korea. Right. These three places are doing the leading edge R and D for the rest of the world's leading edge semiconductors. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, now, manufacturing can be distributed more globally. Right. Um, and this is sort of where this dichotomy exists of like, who's actually modifying the process, who's actually developing the next generation one, who's improving them, is Sinshu, is Hillsboro, is Pyongyang, right? It is not the rest of these, uh, you know, fabs like Arizona, right? Arizona is a paperweight. If if Sinshu disappeared off the face of the planet, um, you know, within within a, a year, a couple years, Arizona would stop producing too, right? It's It's actually like pretty critical. One of the things I like to say is if I had like a few missiles, I know exactly where I could cause the most economic damage, right? It's not targeting the White House, right? It's, it's the R and D centers. It's the R and D centers for TSMC, Intel, Samsung, and then some of the memory guys, Micron and Hynix. Because they define the future evolution of these semiconductors, and everything's moving so rapidly that it's, it really is fundamentally about R and D, and it is all about TSMC, huh? And so TSMC, you know, you cannot purchase a vehicle without TSMC chips, right? You cannot purchase a fridge. Without TSMC chips, you cannot. Pr- you you can you like. I think one of the few things you can purchase, ironically, is a Texas Instruments like graphing calculator, right? Mm-hmm. Because they actually manufacture in Texas. But like outside of that, like a laptop, a it's phone, depressing. anything you servers, right? GPUs. None of this stuff can exist. And this is without without TSMC. And in many cases, it's not even like the leading edge. You know, sexy five nanometer chip, three nanometer chip, two nanometer chip. Oftentimes, it's just like some stupid power IC that's like converting from like you know some voltage to another, right? And it's made at TSMC, right? This it's is like, what China is investing in as well. It's like they can build out this long tail fab where the techniques are much more known. You don't have to pr- figure out these problems with EUV. They're investing in this, and then they have large supply for things like the car door handles and the random stuff, and that trickles down into this whole economic discussion as well, which is they have far more than we do. And having supply for things like this is crucial to normal life. 